today we're at Planted Souls in Mississauga. We're gonna talk to Maria about getting some plants for our place. Let's go. Blue Monday, a lot of people don't really know what that is. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, from what I understand, I guess it's like supposed to be the most kind of depressing day of yes. the year. We're two weeks out from Christmas. People are kind of coming down. People All are, bills are coming financially, in. exactly. Yes. And you know, it's kind of getting in touch with nature again, getting in touch with things that can maybe bring us out and lift our spirits a little bit. Yeah. It's not a cure-all, no. <laughs> but we can at least, you know, help each other out. And maybe this is a good reason why plants are such a good gift for the holidays yes, as well. So. Exactly. Yeah. If I wouldn't to, um, to decorate like each room of my house, like what do you recommend? I know you were saying the, the more lit stuff is yes. over here. So, um, well, I guess in what is harder to find plants for it is those dark areas in your home. Yeah. Um, these are all indoor tropicals. So they're from the tropics. They want Beautiful. the sunlight. Um, so for the darker areas in your homes, I would recommend azizis, snake plants, um, and those are also really good air purifying plants. Um, azizis are? So I have azizi and I have him in front of the window. Should I move him? No, no. <laughs> oh, he's no. okay there? So okay. all of these plants will thrive in um, sunlight. It's just not all of them will adapt to lower light. Like so especially in the light. city, I think lower light plants are probably a big thing because not a lot of people have those big giant yes. windows. Yeah. So. Um, with being so high, yeah. Oh, right? I know. That's windows. true. <laughs> if you forget about it, it will be fine. <laughs> okay, nice. Yes, same with the ZZ and the snake plants. Um, they actually want to be neglected a little. So. Real? Okay, so yeah. these are probably great plants then for people who maybe just want some green in their home, want yes. some air purifying. Yes. You know all the goodness, but then don't have the time to to fully devote yeah. to being like a plant mom. Yes. Yeah, because it's stressful, right? A lot of these yeah. plants you have to keep on top of them. For sure. Or they start to wilt and crisp um, where these guys yeah. if you don't have the time or if you just forget about them they'll be yeah. fine and then so i want to talk more about what you do as well because you don't just have a shop you're like a full-on consultant yeah. and like i mean I, i'll let you kind of speak for for what you do but i i think it's amazing that like i brought my plant that's like fully dying here <laughs> and i'll like oh i don't know where he went but yeah he's like he's having a hard time and like i think you, you can help people like with their own plants at home. You can help yes. people decorate a space. Yeah, Tell me more about that. Yes, so um, yeah, if you have any plants that are struggling, um, you can bring them in like you did with your Yeah, <laughs> my <laughs> we, sad plant. Yes, yeah. we can take a look, assess. Um, maybe it needs repotting. Maybe mm. it's a watering issue. Maybe it's a light issue. Um, I can help kind of guide you through it and give you some tips on what to try. Mm -hmm. um, with plants, it's a lot of trial and error. Yeah. So um, it's not like you look at it and it's like, oh, it's a watering issue right yeah, away. Yeah, you don't it's always like, know. Oh, let's try to water more and see what happens. Right. If that doesn't work, okay, then let's try more light, see what happens. So they're, they're like a living thing. You're yeah. like a plant doctor. Exactly. It's like you take yes. your dog to the vet, yes. take your plant to a plant doctor. Exactly. Now you, you have to change your Instagram yes. handle to the plant, plant doctor. doctor. Okay, show me some more uh, heavy light plants. Maybe some plants, if someone's trying to get into like a plant, like a hobby, because yes. I think that's the thing too, is like, you know, having the unfulfillment or you know, just being like, what do I do kind of can bring us down. But if someone's yes. looking into, you know, propagating as a hobby, mm -hmm. um, what's something really cool that they could spend um, a lot of time on? So really cool and easy to propagate, I would say are the pothos and the philodendrons. Um, they grow very fast, which, which means you can prop them really quick. Yeah. Um, and you just cut in between the nodes, so which are in between leaves. Okay. And then you cut and then stick it in water and from here new roots will come. And really? Then, yeah. Right from the, that stem? Yes. Yeah. Wow. And then you just stick it in water, watch the roots grow. Once they're about one to two inches long, then you can plop them back in soil and make a new plant or just kind of make yours bushier. So you don't put it in soil, you, you cut it and then you put it in water? Yes. Yeah. I had no yeah. idea. Kind that of was how like you did the that. tubes there. So those are cuttings that the are propagation. propagating right now. Yeah. Nice. Okay, <laughs> we have to go take a look at your propagation wall yes. too. Yes. And then, so do plants have different properties for like air purifying or like releasing serotonin or like whatever? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, different plants um, help purify different toxins. Oh wow! Yeah. So if someone came in and they had like a specific need, you could probably yes. let them know. Not off the top of my head. Yeah, we yeah. We won't like quiz, out. quiz, <laughs> pop quiz. Let's go. <laughs> I guess if um, you know, maybe I was getting this as a gift for someone who's like going through a hard time. What would you, be your recommendation? I would go with one of the lower um, care plants, where okay. um, yeah, if one day they just don't feel like getting out of bed, or mm -hmm. it's just not one of those days where you want to 
to get up and be active. Um, right. You don't have to stress that the plant's going to die just because you've had a rough day. <laughs> yeah. I did want to ask you about your propagation wall. I know we chatted about it like a little bit, um, but for someone who doesn't know, how does this work? Um, so here, this is a community propagation wall. So it's take a cutting, leave a cutting. Um, so people will bring a cutting with them and then exchange it for another plant that maybe they don't have at home already. So I know a bit of your history. I know you got into this specifically during COVID, not in yes. the plants, but like your yes. your business. Yes. Um, which is to me the most intimidating time to like start <laughs> a business. Uh, what did that I guess look like for you from someone who was like coming from a period that was dark for a lot of people yes. to be like, I'm gonna just do this. Yeah. So um, because of COVID, I was home with my daughters. Um, they were doing online learning and I was just kind of sitting there. And yeah. I'm not somebody that likes to just sit there and do nothing. Yeah. So um, that's when I was like, oh, I have to do something. Let's just try this out, see what happens. Um, and it's, yeah, it started working out and then it just kind of grew from there. So what would you say the main benefit of having plants in your home is, I guess, just in general? Yeah, so I think just a mood boost. Mm -hmm. um, it, really makes a difference once you add greenery and plants into a space it just lifts your spirits lifts your mood um and yeah you care for them right you put mm -hmm. so much time and effort into them and they thank you by growing yeah. um, blooming pushing out new leaves so it's really nice to see your efforts um you get to see your efforts kind of pay off yeah. oh air plants that's and, a um, plant yeah. i thought that was a decoration oh, stuck in here no so they're alive um, they're air plants, so they don't need to be potted in soil or anything, and they are good low light plants. They're very adaptable. So how do you take care of this? Um, so every two weeks, I would just, I know, you're like, what, what do I do there? with this? Just dunk it in a bowl with water, leave it there, let it soak up the water kind of like a sponge. Okay. And then you just kind of shake it off and place it back out. So that you, like literally that's what they are, they just... Yeah. So what are they, there's no root here, what are they growing out of? No, air. <laughs> How does that, that's crazy to me. So in the wild, in the jungle, they grow on leaves of trees um, or oh, okay. on trunks where water kind of gathers. So would this be something you might find in like Arizona where it's like drier or something like that? Or um, I would say no. no, more in like the rainforests, Bahamas, really? tropical areas, yes. Cause it's so moist in those areas. Exactly. And these yes. are like, this is literally like the driest plant I've ever held. Yeah. <laughs> like, watermelon <laughs> ones also. Did you call it watermelon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it so looks it's like a watermelon, watermelon. peperomia. This is pet safe? Yes. That's yes. gorgeous. I know. I have always been obsessed with watermelons, and then when I yeah. found a watermelon plant, it was like two of my favorite things in one. <laughs> Beautiful plants. I just noticed Albert Einstein. Yes. <laughs> Where did you get this? 